Not that they're weak, but just that when it works, it works great. Hey, welcome back to GT Canada. I wanna to talk to you BMW owners. Now, I've liked BMWs for a long time. For me, Audis and BMWs are the same kind of vehicle for me. And those of you that have watched my other car story about the Audis that I've owned, you know that I kind of have this love-hate thing for, for Audi, and that is I buy them because I like them, and then they break, and then I get mad, get rid of it, I usually sell it at a big loss, end up going to the wrecker instead, or sold for parts, and then I forget how bad it was and buy another one. And BMW is the same for me, but I've always been able to fight the urge to actually own one, except for one time. So one time I did get my hands on a 318i it was it was an older one so it was kind of the the cool body style that was still boxy and square i loved that car but i didn't own it long because just like my audis it broke quickly and i've always had this perception that bmws are fragile not that they're weak but just that they're kind of finicky in the sense that when it works, it works great, but it doesn't usually work great for very long before it doesn't work great, and then you need to put in some money to repair it. I was recently playing a game of Warzone, and one of the guys that I was playing with actually was saying how much fun he had out driving around in his BMW. I asked him how much he had spent keeping it on the road, and he says, oh, well, a lot of guys buy like stereos and stuff and put them in their car. He says, I just spend money keeping my car running. I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, well, how can you stay positive about this? And he said something to me that, that made it all make sense. He said, oh, well, that's easy. I owned a Subaru before I had the BMW. So then it all became totally clear. And I think this guy cracked the code to how to own a BMW happily. And it's very simple. Just buy a Subaru and, and drive that for a bit first. And all of a sudden, anything else that you drive becomes that much better. So this might not only apply to BMWs though. There's some other vehicles that you could own, have a Subaru first and then own, and it would be okay too. A Saab comes to mind, buy a Subaru, drive that for a year, then buy a Saab, and all of a sudden that Saab will be the best car you ever had, at least for, at least till you forget what owning a Subaru was like. This isn't a long video today, just a quick tip. If you are about to buy a car that is notoriously bad, buy a Subaru first, then that car that you actually wanted will be a great car. And that's your top tip for today. I hope you enjoyed this top tip and be sure to check out some of our other videos over here. Actually, over here, we've got a lot of great back library that's full of really good stuff and feel free to subscribe below. We hope to see you again. Have a great day.